Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Life. Today is 23rd April. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the question asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the latest current affairs from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Also you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for the Hindi current affairs is given there. Before moving forward, let's check the answer for the question asked in the last video. When did the disaster in Bhopal, India take place? The correct answer is Option B, December 1984. Now, let's begin our session for today. Here comes our question number 1. What is India's overall rank in 2019 index of cancer preparedness? The correct answer is Option D, 19th. The Economist Intelligence Unit has released the 2019 Index of Cancer Preparedness in which India's overall rank is 19th out of 28 countries with a score of 64.9. Now, let me share few more information about the Index of Cancer Preparedness 2019. Australia tops the ICP followed by the Netherlands and Germany. Saudi Arabia, Romania, Romania and Egypt are at the bottom in index. The ICP explores the issue of cancer preparedness through three broad domains. Policy and planning, care delivery, health system and governance. Now let me share few more information about the India and ICP. India ranks 19th in cancer policy and planning but it has a relatively high score of 80.8. India ranked first for research and third for tobacco control in ICP. In its delivery of cancer care, India ranks 20th with a score of 61.3. With a score of 40.3, India's healthcare system ranks 25th in the index. Above one the Saudi Arabia, Kenya, Egypt. Now, what is cancer? Cancer is the second leading cause of death globally and is estimated to account for 9.6 million deaths in 2018. World Cancer Day is observed on 4th February every year. Now, let me share few more information about the Economist Intelligence Unit. The Economist Intelligence Unit, created in 1946, is the Research and Analysis Division of the Economist Group and the world leader in the global business intelligence. It is headquartered at London, United Kingdom. Moving to our question number 2. Which country ranked 17th in global startup ecosystem? The correct answer is option B, India. According to data released by Startup Blink, India moved up to 17th position in 2018 from 37th spot last year in the Startup Ecosystem Ranking for 2019. The top three spots remained unchanged with the United States, United Kingdom and Canada. The cities with the most vibrant startup ecosystems in India are Bangalore, New Delhi and Mumbai. It used data from startups, accelerators and co-working spaces registered on it platforms as well as data received from global partners such as Crunkbase and SimilarWeb. Around 3,800 new startups were launched in India during the last year. Overall, Indian startups received $11 billion of funding through 743 deals in 2018. Heading to our question number 3. Which ministry linked MOU with CSIR to cooperate in the field of research and education? The correct answer is 
ऑप्शन सी Ministry of Ayush Ayush Ministry signed memorandum of understanding with Council of Scientific and Industrial Research New Delhi for cooperation in the field of research and education of traditional medicine how to integrate traditional medicines with modern science CSIR and Ayush Ministry jointly developed the traditional knowledge digital library which prevents biopiracy and misappropriation of traditional knowledge under the agreement both CSIR and Ayush Ministry jointly endeavor to proceed in the activities like R&D covering fundamental research gene expression and prakriti exploring modern scientific method for integration with traditional indian system of medicine now let's see about CSIR it is headquartered at new delhi the director general is shekhar c mandi now let me share few more informations about the ayush ministry it was founded on 9th november 2014 the minister is shripad nayak heading to our question number 4 which country declared joint border reaction force with pakistan the correct answer is option b iran Iran's president Hassan Rouhani announced that Iran and Pakistan to create a joint reaction force on the border between the two countries of combating terrorism. The announcement came during a two-day visit to Iran by Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan, the first of his tenure. Iran and Pakistan share a 959-kilometer land border. Balochistan which borders Afghanistan and Iran is Pakistan's largest and poorest province rife with ethnic sectarian and separatist insurgencies Tehran has been complaining for years about recurring attacks by Pakistani militants on Iranian security forces Pakistan and Iran are also members of the Economic Cooperation Organization and organization of islamic cooperation now let me share few more informations about pakistan the capital is islamabad the currency is pakistani rupee the president is arif alvi the prime minister is imran khan now let me share few more informations about the iran as well the capital is tehran the currency is iranian real The president is Hassan Rouhani. The supreme leader is Ali Khamenei. Heading to our question number 5. Which insurance company launched its new product cyber defense insurance? The correct answer is Option A, SBI General Insurance. SBI General Insurance launched its new product cyber defense insurance to protect businesses from financial and reputational losses due to cyber attacks the main focus on smes and mid market businesses to larger businesses this offers protection against the growing threat of cyber breaches like hacking attacks identity theft disclosure of sensitive information and business interruption it provides it forensic investigations legal advice reputational and pr management sbi general insurance cyber defense comes with cyrus which is cloud based tool for commercial cyber policies including risk assessment ongoing risk management and client management now let me share few more informations about sbi general insurance the cfo is rikul shah the chief investment officer is ganesh prasad Chief Business Officer is Amar Joshi. It was founded in the year 2009. Heading to our question number 6. Who won the National IP Award 2019? The correct answer is Option D. Intellectual Property Rights Cell of Kerala Agricultural University. Intellectual Property Rights Cell of Kerala Agricultural University selected for the National Intellectual Property Award 
the award comprising prize money of INR 1 lakh citation and memento will be presented at the function to be held in New Delhi on World IP Day. The cell headed by CRLC has facilitated GI registration of 9 crops from the state. Now let me share few more information about the World IP Day. The World IP Day is observed on April 26. The award constituted by the Indian Intellectual Property Office under the Union Ministry of Industry and Commerce is conferred on persons and organizations working in the field of patents, trademarks and geographical indications. Heading to our question number 7. Which company signed a deal with India Post to modernize a network of more than 1,50,000 post offices in India? The correct answer is Option A. Tata Consultancy Services India's largest IT services company, Tata Consultancy Services, has partnered with the Department of Posts in a bid Transform it into a multi-service digital hub, modernize the delivery of mail and packages, enhance customer experience and launch innovative services that will drive new revenues. In 2013, TCS had announced receiving an over rupees 1,100 crore multi-year contract from the Department of Post for an end-to-end -end IT modernization program. Core System Integration Program designed and implemented by T TCS involved deploying an integrated ERP solution that caters to mail operations, finance and accounting and HR functions and connect its vast network of more than 1,50,000 post offices making this the largest distributed e-postal network in the world. TCS is the same company that along with the Ministry of External Affairs revamped India's passport services through the Passport Seva Kendra initiative and Student Connect. Now let me share few more information about the Tata Consultancy Services. It is an Indian multinational information technology service and consultancy company. It is the second largest Indian company by market capitalization. It was founded in the year 1968. The founder is Fakur Chand Kohli, J.R.D. Tata, Tata Sons. It is headquartered at Mumbai. Now, let me share few more information about the India Post. It was founded in the year 1854 April 1st. The founder is Government of India. It is headquartered at New Delhi and the subsidiary is India Post Payment Bank. Heading to our question number 8. Santosh Trophy is related to which sports? The correct answer is Option C. Football. Santosh Trophy is an Indian football tournament in which the states of the country along with same government institutions participate. This is held annually since 1941. Bengal was the first winner of the competition held in 1941. The trophy is named after the late Maharaja Sir Manmadanath Roy Chaudhary of Santosh now in Bangladesh. The runners-up trophy is called Kamla Gupta Trophy which was donated by a late Dr. S. K. Gupta, former president of the Indian Football Association, in memory of his wife. The trophy given to the team is team finished third is called Sampangi Cup, which was presented by the Mysore Football Association in 1952 in the memory of Sampangi who was a renowned footballer from Mysore. 
Now let me share few more informations about the Santosh Trophy 2019. The 2018-19 Santosh Trophy was the 73rd edition. Services won their 6th Santosh Trophy title with a 1-4-0 victory over Punjab at Ludhiana. Heading to our question number 9. When World Book and Copyright Day is celebrated? across the world the correct answer is option a 23rd april world book and copyright day is observed on april 23rd 2019 the annually celebrated day is organized by unesco to promote reading publishing and copyright it was first celebrated in 1995 in 1995, UNESCO decided that on this day, the World Book and Copyright Day should be celebrated because of the Catalonian Festival and because the date is also anniversary of the birth and death of William Shakespeare and some other authors. The 24th edition of the World Book and Copyright Day will celebrate literature and reading while focusing particularly on the importance of enhancing and protecting indigenous languages. The books bring people together around a story and a common heritage while revealing their specificities through different cultural identities and languages. Moving to our last question, question number 10. How many medals did India bag on the opening day of Asian Athletics Championship 2019? The correct answer is Option D 5 India won 5 medals including 2 silver and 3 bronze medals on the opening day of Asian Athletics Championship 2019. Javelin thrower Anurani and 3000 meters steeple chaser Avinash Sabal won the silver medals. Quarter miler MP Puvamma, 5000 meter runner Prol Chowdhury, and 10000 meter runner Gavit Murali Kumar bagged a bronze each. With five medals on their name, India were fifth in the medals tally. Bahrain lead the table, China second, Iran third, and Philippines fourth. Now let me share few more informations about the Asian Athletics Championship. It is the 23rd edition. The host city is Doha, Qatar. The main stadium is Khalifa International Stadium. 43 nations are participating this year. To conclude this session, here comes the question of the day. Which country ranked first in index of cancer preparedness 2019? Try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find the information provided in our video useful, please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Dear friends, are you looking for a job? End your search now. Visit freshlife.com, the next generation of placement network. Register yourself today and get placed in top companies. Until then, this is Freshers Life signing out from current affairs video. Take care.